Um, okay, so the molar solubility of magnesium hydroxide, so, um, and molar solubility, we're going to assume that what we're doing, uh, actually, I'm going to move it just because. Okay, so is dissolving a solid compound into <clears throat> its uh, ions. So Mg plus plus two OH minus, and then these are all going to be aqueous. Okay, and so we're given our KSP um, I don't want to make this more visibly a capital um, as 8.9 times 10 to the minus 12 so we need to relate this to our, our concentration of ions or our solubility of our of our ions that um, that dissolve. So, in this case, um, so our KSP or our K constant, our equilibrium constant for our reaction is going to be the concentration of the products and it's concentration of OH minus, and there's two of them, so it gets squared. And then it's divided by the reactants, but you don't consider reactants that are uh, solid form, and you don't consider reactant, and you don't consider water. So in this case, um, so there's no denominator because there's only a solid on, on the uh, left-hand side or the reactant side. Okay, so our KSP is just equal to these concentrations. Also, looking at the equation, right, for every one mole of magnesium, we get two moles of OH minus, right? So that means that in actuality, the concentration of OH minus is always twice that of magnesium. And just to make things a little easier, at least just for solving things, um, well, actually, I'm just going to leave it. Um, so, with that in, our KSP is then our is then uh, <clears throat> our magnesium concentration times, two times our magnesium concentration squared. And so now we're in a pretty good place to solve for uh, our ion concentration. And now we can see that our magnesium plus concentration is just our KSP, which is 8.9 times 10 to the minus 12 over 4 to the cube root. And so if we put that in a calculator, we will find that that's 1.30 uh, <clears throat> 1 1.3055 times 10 to the minus 4. And um, as our magnesium concentration, so if we use our OH minus, that wouldn't quite be right because looking at our reaction, uh, we have magnesium hydroxide going to Mg plus plus 2 OH minus, so the 
reaction is one to one in these two species so this means that we can dissolve this many moles of magnesium hydroxide because our MgOH2 is going to be equal to our Mg plus concentration, right? Or as because this is moles per liter, so we can dissolve this many moles per liter of magnesium hydroxide. So then that is our molar solubility for magnesium hydroxide. So uh, representing it as S for our molar solubility, that means it would be this value. Moles per liter. Okay. Um, so again, we could have uh, called <clears throat> we could have called magnesium the concentration of magnesium S, and um, and just made it a little look a little simpler. But I left it as is just to make it um, more uh, obvious what I was calculating. The only problem I see here is this 2, but doesn't creep up anywhere. It seems to have just been added accidentally. Um, but the value comes out to be the same, so the solution is correct.